Hello and welcome to yet another video of Cornerstones of Math. Today we are going to integrate x to the power of 5 sine x squared dx. The key thing to notice here is one famous occasion that this sine x squared can be simplified and integrated is when the inner part can be substituted to something else. So let's see if that's possible. So if we let x squared as some other variable t, then 2x dx equals dt, so x dx equals 1 half dt. And we do have x dx in our integral, since this x to the power of 5 can be split into x to the power of 4, then x. So this becomes t, and x dx becomes 1 half dt and x to the power of 4 is t squared. So we have integral t squared sine t times 1 half dt. So 1 half integral t squared sine t dt. And we can integrate this using integration by parts. So we have to assign u and v prime. So letting t squared as u and sine t as v prime, then we have u prime as 2t and v as minus cosine t. So 1 half times uv minus t squared cosine t minus integral u prime v, so minus 2t cosine t dt. So we have minus 1 half t squared cosine t, then plus integral t cosine t dt. Using integration by parts again, now with t as u and cosine t as v prime, then we have u prime as 1 and v as sine t. So minus 1 half t squared cosine t plus uv t sine t minus integral u prime v, so sine t dt. So we have these parts are the same and then plus cosine t plus constant c and let's write it as minus one half t squared minus two cosine t plus t sine t plus c. And if we replace t with x squared, we have minus one half x to the power of four minus two cosine x squared plus x squared sine x squared plus c. So this is the antiderivative. And that's all for today's video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in another video.